Well, it is 13 hours and 5 minutes into the uh, 21st day of September 2021. We're back uh, vlogging at a transition point once again. We have a package opening, but uh, actually we have two package openings. But I just woke up, so um, not where I should be in terms of uh, alertness. We're going to find my scissors. There we go. I do enjoy the package openings. The last few days have been going pretty well. I, I, I can't complain. Things have been going successfully. I've been able to sort of make gains on an almost daily basis. There are certain things that have fallen off, but uh, that's kind of to be expected. So let's see here. What have we brought in? A little package in bubble wrap. Doubly packaged. Ah, nice. It comes with a nice little sock. It's a microphone. Very, very nice. Very nice. I will be testing that out later on today. Uh, I've got enough uh, equipment so that I can uh, test it out. See how it sounds. The goal will be to, if this works out, to buy more of them. Uh, because they're rather inexpensive. And I want to test out the difference in sound quality between a $200 microphone and this one, which is... Uh, uh, under 50. If the sound uh, levels are comparable, then that's what I'm going to be going with from now on. Sometimes, you, you always have to, before you do use anything, you always have to, to, to uh, uh, test bench it before you design something. Let's see how things work out before you put it into its regular place. Uh, and this is kind of like engineering on the fly, but uh, here's the second package. Oh, nice. It's what I was waiting for. It is a dongle for a uh, tablet that allows you to uh, put in multiple devices uh, connection, but also maintain one for power as well. So yay for that. So we've got everything we want right now. Sorry. Uh, it is time for me to head off uh, to my parents' house. I just uploaded a massive load of clips from here. Uh, just close to a month, month worth of clips. And we're slowly catching up. We're about a month and a bit behind. And so I think things should continue going well like that. Anyways, I will see you. Uh, probably later on tonight for the next transition point, I do have to make a point of uh, vlogging this, even if uh, there really isn't much here. This is the sort of the behind the scenes. This is sort of what goes on. The road vlogs are the essays, and this isn't an essay. This is uh, this is uh, uh, point by point behind the scenes. Well, it is one hour and 17 minutes into the 23rd day of September. I almost forgot the day. I almost forgot the month. Almost forgot the month. Yeah. I'm uh, tripping over my words again. Fatigue is back on. <laughs> Big time. Anyways, I said before, I love my Asian community. I live in an Asian community. I am Pan-Asian. So I get to cook all the foods I love. And uh, where I do a lot of my observation is an Asian dance school, and I like I have friends there now, so they gave me a gift for uh, the uh, Moon Festival. 
they have a moon festival. For those of you who want to look, up, look that up, look at the Chinese uh, festivals, and you'll see there is a moon festival. And they gave me a gift for it. I don't know what it is. It's in a it's in a box. I have to keep it refrigerated. So let's uh, get this uh, hooked up here. And it's Did a bit of watching of Lionel tonight, so I talked about that. Okay, let's bring this up. Yeah. It's the Mid-Autumn Moon Festival. That's what's what's going on today. Mid-Autumn mid Moon Festival. Well, there we go. That's that's uh, what we celebrated today. I wish it was yesterday. But I was... Uh, from yesterday, from last night, I wrote... Uh, uh, from about... Ooh, I think from midnight to just now, more or less. Actually, till about 10 o'clock, I was knocked out. I was just... wasn't... I was having a bad day with, uh, I was having a bad day, uh, uh, with my, uh, neurological disorder, and it really just kind of knocked me out, so, uh, I spent most of the day in bed, most of that time in bed, uh, I got up around 9.30, 9, 9.30 to do, uh, the observational work, and I just now came back in, uh, as I was tracking a storm that came through the, through my reach, so, The Chinese eat the moon cake at night, when when with the full moon in, in the sky. Uh, when circumstances prevent couples from uh, from getting together, they're the evening they pass the night watching the moon. <laughs> so I, I I am a night owl. I do watch the moon, so I guess this is a uh, kind of uh, up my alley. Uh, so that's what they probably gave me. They gave me um, a moon cake. That's what this probably is. And so, inter interesting, you know, I, I've known about this for a while. Uh, uh, every time I go to uh, uh, TNT, that was my uh, standard shopping place for a while, before I switched to Fusion. Uh, I switched because uh, Fusion, same, they're both, they're the Asian, the Chinese. And but uh, uh, Fusion delivers for free, so uh, that was my <laughs> primary reason. So uh, let's take a look at what uh, the box they gave that, that everything came in. So this is the tin. This is what they've given me. Very nice people. I really, I really do enjoy being around them. So here we go. This is it. This is what I was given. It's big. It's uh, it's five, almost five hundred grams. So it's gonna be uh, nice to eat. So, uh, I have my dinner in the oven right now. Or my lunch, however you want to phrase it, because I am hungry and I haven't eaten ooh, uh, since around one o'clock in the afternoon, uh, if not earlier. Uh, and so I'm hungry now. And I'm going to eat, have something to eat, but I don't know whether it's, uh, I don't know whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I have this is this is the result of transitions. At just about two o'clock, it's time for the moon cake. This is what they got me. So I'm going to have this now. I'm going to have the whole series of that. The whole uh, assortment of mooncakes. And once again, 
my strength fails me and so I have to turn to the scissors. Mm. Mm. got the plastic off. Here's the moon cake itself. It seems to be a chocolate one. There we go. This should be a better a better view. So I'm gonna have it and uh, I don't know what to say at this point because uh, it's uh, not New Year so I can't say uh, Happy New Year but uh, Anyways, nice. Very nice. Well, I might as well do this now. It's about uh, 21 hours and 30, oh, 47 minutes into the 23rd day of September, and I'm outside my outdoor uh, research desk. Uh, this is where I'm studying <laughs> currently. Uh, a new storm system has popped up on the satellite, so I'm going to see it through and probably uh, end, uh, no, I'll probably end my observation around 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning because this thing looks like it's going to be all week long in terms of the condition. So, but the, things do change within 12 hours. We'll see how that ends up going. Uh, so for now, I'm I'm just out here. I did listen to the line. Oh, I did, did uh, sort of got that in. This thing just popped in my mind. But I just finishing listening to the line. Oh, this is what I do. There's nothing else to do out here except for watch the uh, sky go by and occasionally listen for trains. And that, that's a, a, se a separate set of uh, separate a separate project of uh, acoustical physics and quite interesting uh, factors that pop up there. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, this is the beginning of the night. Well, believe it or not, it is just four minutes into the 24th day of September 2021. And we're transitioning from outside, from our outside research desk to the inside uh, research desk back here. We're going to be doing a uh, YouTube stroll. We're getting the YouTube stroll at uh, the Yali Vlogs. And that being said, the outside uh, research was quite interesting. Uh, um, doing a better job tracking storms uh, from my observatory, from the satellite to down below, to outside, to, you know, seeing what's above from, from the satellite perspective, and then seeing uh, how that looks from... Uh, looking up at the skies type of thing. So uh, it's about identifying a, a, a certain amount of physics uh, as you're observing things and then going from there into seeing how the anomalies kind of play out uh, amongst the physics. So you're actually observing physics. You're observing uh, the mechanics, the functionality of, of, of what's going on in the atmosphere. But this takes an enormously this takes an enormous enormous amount of time. I've been out there since about oh about eight thirty in the uh, in the evening. Let's say I got up there at nine o'clock. It's now midnight. Uh, that was a three hour uh, session. So uh, not short, not something easy to do. But at the, still, at the same time, you know I I do enjoy it. And in the between time. I look at other things. I do uh, the work on Instagram. I do my Insta Instagram uh, scroll through. I look at uh, RT. Uh, listen to Lionel. Uh, I've been watching him now for close to five years, if not longer. So I have, you know, gotten a good position in terms of his, uh, his op uh, my observation of him. Uh, it's not based on a, a sort of a single viewing. And he, he misses things. He, he he sort of derides the whole concept of gnosis uh, without considering its impact. It's not about Satanism. It's not about uh, calling about communism. Not about Nazism or or bringing up any of the old tripes. You know, or even sitting down and working on uh, the numerology. 
Well, that's what a lot of people do in terms of their symbols and everything like that. They work on the numerology and try to do these predictions. Uh, it has nothing to do with that. This is there is a reality behind there, and one of the things the reality I just sent, uh, that I just sort of picked up and it was, it was sort of uh, in the nineteen seventies, the nineteen sixties, and uh, 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 actually late nineteen sixties, early nineteen seventies. In the summer of love, what became the psychedelic, known as the psychedelic era, a number of cults ended up. These are the Indian type cults, and and India is not Native American. We're not talking about that. And that's what the swastika is not Native. It's laughing to hear that the, the swastika is Native American. It's not Native American. It's Indian. Indian, not Native American. But India from India. <laughs> that's what the swastika is. And these are the symbols of of, of various. They're, they're, they're magical symbols. They they're symbols of magic. Is that simple? And, and you use geometry and mathematics in order to calculate the the spells. The magic is all done with calculus. This is why Newton and, and Leibniz, who were alchemists, were using calculus. This is, you know this is where a lot of this stuff comes from. I mean, this again, this stuff wasn't lost on Planck. Planck understood what was going on. Uh, who's Planck? Well, you know Einstein? Well, Einstein based his work that he well won the Nobel Prize on uh, off of Planck. So you go Planck, Einstein, uh, quantum mechanics, quantum physics. That's the line. So you, 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 beyond what you hear in the so-called the conspiracy, conspiracy theory line, there is, as you go in and get to understand these sort of uh, Areas of physics, mathematics, and so 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 on and so forth. You run into the the, the Gnostic history that you not run into sort of the Gnostic path because it's there all along, and then it comes up again in the in the nineteen seventies, and this uh, primarily has to do with you know, well the legalization of LSD. Well, where did LSD come from? It came from the university. There was uh, two Harvard professors. One was Timothy Leary, and the other one was called his name was Ram Das. He was uh, a son of one of the railroad magnates that, that, that was at Harvard. He was a psychologist, and they were given permission by the government to to, to experiment, with, experiment with in terms of using it on students uh, with psilocybin and uh, LSD, lysergic acid, lysergic uh, acid, and it became part. He as he sort of. Evolved and sort of expanded his mind. These were these whole things on uh, uh, mind expansion. But the thing is, the LSD wasn't new. The LSD had been tried before but failed. There is a huge history behind MK Ultra that dates all the way back to the 1930s. This, this is the, the the history of virology and its kinetics and its, and its connection to uh, gain of function goes back to the 1930s as well. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that comes out of the 1930s that really is mind blowing, but it, it takes a while to really develop and come forward. And there's a, a lot of old reels that you can find on the internet that sort of spell out what was going on when. And it's really eye opening as you as you bring in these chunks of information to see what was who was doing what and how it got into various different hands. This includes you know if you're looking at um, Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard. Well, he was part of the first, the initial uh, LSD program, and what he his acid trips, his trips were what became uh, 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 what became of uh, that that became Scientology. This was his mind expansion. But there's another one. There's another group today that I sort of sent over to Mrs. L because she's uh, working on sex traffic, the trafficking of children. Uh, we're sort of trying to come up with some form of a rescue plan. But the thing is, you ha in order to come up with a rescue plan, to actually do something significant, you have to understand what the realities are. And she's not doing that. There are reasons why people will traffic other people. And cults are often known to track other people. I mean, you know, I looked at his uh, his Twitter feed. 
and one of the Twitter feeds that is puts up this, this guy, right? And no one knows who the guy is, and and and, and Lionel doesn't go into explain this. He doesn't. I don't know if Lionel knows who this guy is. Is is Rajneesh? His name is Rajneesh, and he had a cult. There's a, and these cults were all based on these these uh, these Indian or Hindu ashrams. This is in the Beatles' uh, Yellow Submarine, Strawberry Fields, uh, any band that did any form of psychedelic, psychedelic music. Uh, and this included uh, John Lennon, because well, he's part of the Beatles, so this was a huge influence. Always they, in, in that in that period of the seventies, the rock bands, the American rock bands, flocked to India to go pick up a guru. You still have it today. You have your aura cleansers, you have your chakra cleansers, uh, and you have there a number of spiritualists all over the place. These kind, this kind, of, these things produce these cults. And so these cults are still out there recruiting people. And they pick up children, women, children. You know, they need to bring these sort of the, their society in. And they, there are people who live in these cults. And this is one of the things I found is that this is where Justin Trudeau comes from. I went, well, how does Justin Trudeau become Justin Trudeau? Well, he's more than likely a alien. And that's a group in Montreal that supports open sex. They're the ones uh, who uh, you've seen uh, uh, Haley uh, Haley uh, Baldwin now now Haley Bieber. Why was she walking around topless? Because the free the nipple program that we saw on Twitter came from the Raelians. It's out there, but you need to sort of. Connect the pieces, and the pieces aren't, don't present themselves all at once. It takes hours to do this stuff. Well, I would say days and weeks, and even uh, to be fair, months and years to do the work to get the right pieces. Sometimes you'll get a piece here and a piece there; they don't make any sense. But you get a third piece maybe a year to two years later, and now ah, uh, you begin to make connections between what you have. But without that third piece, the, the two pieces you initially have don't make any sense. So you just sort of leave them on the shelf and go, well, that's nice, and you know, go off and do something else because there, you know, there, re there really isn't uh, sort of anything more to be done. So I think that's kind of uh, where we are now. And uh, <laughs> moving on to my next segment, uh, I'm going to have another um, uh, uh, more of the uh, moon cakes and. Uh, have another three or so, and then I'll have uh, uh, maybe some toast. I'm going to make some. Uh, I have my uh, street kitchen now for the Asian food, and so I'm going to make myself another naan bread uh, 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 sort of uh, creation. We'll see what it's going to be this time. I haven't. I don't haven't decided what I want on uh, in terms of my street food. What I want. I have. I'm in a couple minds right now, but it, we're in a. Uh, once again, we're in a uh, period of, uh, of fast, so uh, the diet is going to be uh, restic restricted. So, so that's where we are currently. And uh, off to uh, the YouTube stroll and the Yowie vlogs. <laughs> 